Okay, in three minutes, I'm gonna talk about, I got my timer on, how I help you as an advisor. Because I know um, when people hire me as an executive recruiter, that's a little bit easier to explain how within three months, usually four months max, I'm gonna go find and hunt down the COO for them, get them hired. And, and it's very easy to go through all the process of that. Um, sales advisory is a little bit different because every client's at a different stage. So when I come in, I still use that three month container, 90 days, because it helps us stay focused on what's important and how to grow revenues the quickest, focusing on their sales process. Sometimes it's revamping it or changing things. Sometimes we're starting from scratch. Um, but really, it's going to be focused on where you are and where you want to go. And so, and all that is in building sales. So, it's a customized plan through assessment calls early on. Um, that's why I had the retainer. It takes a lot of time to kind of talk to the CEO and the leadership team as to what you need, like where the pain points are. And then really, once I get in there, a lot of times that can shift, right? You find out what the real priorities are. They might think you need to hire a salesperson, but really they need to develop a sales process for, or really they need to find out a commission structure that's going to attract an A salesperson. So all that gets figured out a lot um, once we start talking. And through each conversation it, with me, the CEO, um, you know, seems to gain clarity because I come in as like a newcomer, not knowing anything about their product or where they are in the process. And I look at it from a fresh perspective and through a customer's eye, like how would that email look when it first comes over to me and what didn't I or did I like about it? So, you know, I have, it's live conversations with the CEO to help gain clarity that then not only goes to like the email messaging, which will affect us getting higher open rates and conversion rates, which leads to more demos and sales. Those are the results that I get for you. But that also transpires into all parts of the company because once your vision gets clear, when you're out talking as the CEO about whether it's to your board or to investors, you're getting clear in the messaging as the emails get clear, right? Or as, as something on your website, we change to figure out what are the three benefits that really make you unique. And so all that comes, of course, from me advising and working with you and kind of co-creating as we go. Um, and so, you know, it's the emailing, then we, and then target, I can't fit uh, two minutes. So I can't forget about target lists. So, you know, I help create targeted clients list of who your ideal customer is. So for instance, the last client I went to thought their TA manager would be their ideal target client, but really it was the CEO that was a better way to prospect in or their vice president of people or, you know, different titles and then get passed down to maybe who's actually um, in charge of the budgeting and approval. So focusing on that client and actually getting hands dirty and sending the emails out to see what's working, what's getting clicked on, all that good stuff. And lastly, data collection, because who cares if you're selling, if you can't track the sales, um, because you can have these great emails going out, building buzz, a person, let's say, if I'm a talent acquisition leader, emailing other talent acquisition leaders or their CEOs, and that email's getting passed down. Um, they may click on my LinkedIn and see me, that I have a good background and for, I'm referring this company. They go to the company website, but that would never get tracked back to the salesperson. So um, it's important to have clickable links as well as an understanding that there'll be a buzz and awareness being put out as thousands of emails are going out um, to build traction for a company in an early stage. So it's not just you might want to find people around the world and throw 20% bone or something for sales, but you really have to back it up to all the marketing and messaging and uh, figuring out the data collection to see what's working, what's not. And, um, you know, before those demos come in and the sales and where you have it tweaked enough where you want to scale, because if you scale it before you figure all that out, you're just wasting a lot of time and have to go back to the drawing board. So I'm over three minutes, but it's kind of where I help because 90 days and then we can keep going from there. But I like that 90 day container each time every three months we renegotiate because early on, we're just getting to know each other. Um, we make sure we work well together. Uh, by month one, you will know a lot. And only, by the way, that first month retainer um, is all you risk with me, whether it's 10, 20, 30 grand on the advisory, wherever you come in, whether it's all cash or part equity or whatever, uh, that might be that, that first month might be the risk. After that, you only pay me when you're seeing the results. And you know we decide together after those first few weeks what those results should look like based upon where you are. So I have to figure all that out with you You know when I first do my assessment calls. So it is kind of like an on the fly plan as you go, um, but that's my process over the three months to help you hit whatever goal you have. I have companies across the board, um, You know, start at 12 million, want to be next year 30 million. Uh, I've got a free revenue company right now at zero, wants to be 1 million. And, you know, and then they're all at different levels of where they are, what they're using technology wise, investors. Um, so I come in and integrate pretty fast and pretty quick and work with you and make it fun and enjoyable. <laughs> I will say that. So 
um, and hopefully work long term on my clients and lifelong friends, I feel like, and um, and come back around and refer me business. So, OK, five minutes. That's that. Hope that was helpful. And what I do as an advisor, if you didn't know, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.